My tonsils are two kids at the middle school dance in the early 2000s. Usher's Yeah has just come on, and they're smashing and grinding up against each other, and it's bulbous and awkward, and the math teacher keeps trying to come in between them with a red cup to leave room for Jesus, but there's nothing stopping this love. The nurse doesn't think my description is funny. Strep throat is serious, she says. It could lead to cardiac arrest. You've had it six times in the last two months. So maybe my tonsils are in an older, more serious relationship. <laughs> the kind where you never notice it's making you sick. The kind where you don't want to tell people things are wrong because it's the only way you've known love in your own mouth. She asks me how long they've been like this. I say, I don't know, always. Which is how long I promised my boyfriend I'd love him for. Ah. She asks me on a scale of one to 10 how painful it is. I say, I don't know, I don't feel anything. Something I eventually told him too. She says, I'm not here to talk to you about your love life. You just really need surgery. I tell her I don't have time to plan for that kind of surgery. She says there's never really a right time, which is what I thought on the coldest days when he was the warmest thing around. So I get the surgery, it's quick, but the recovery time is the worst because the older we get, the harder time our bodies have of letting things go. Tonsils are a vestigial organ a vestigial organ meant from preventing disease from entering the body, and we never noticed how sick we made each other in the winter, our pillows covered in germs that meant really well. For a week, my throat is covered in white scabs I have to learn how to swallow. I send pictures to all of my friends of the progress. I throw up all of the painkillers. Sometimes the body wants you to feel everything and show it off. I can't talk without my voice getting caught in its own net. Even now, after all this time, I'm afraid you can hear the way it's trying its best not to crack, trying its best to strain against the emptiness it is not yet used to. The doctor says that's just me sounding more like myself. And I keep trying to find the best metaphor for my heart underwear on the floor, stoplight stuck on yellow, makeup wipe at the end of the night, violinist in Harvard Square covering ushers, you got it bad. But maybe I've been thinking of the wrong organ. Maybe love is a vestigial organ. Something we should have evolved out of a long time ago, but for some reason we all have anyway. Something that makes us gasp in the middle of the night something that always hurts us on the way out.